Yes, uh, now another a very good friend of mine and Toppings as well because oh, yeah. we went gigging oh, with him. Oh, we did. In Singapore, yes. we were out gigging with him, weren't we? And a very funny man. And, and we a, didn't stop laughing. We didn't stop. We'll tell you why, won't we, yes. in a second. Uh, would you please welcome to the stage from his show Dreaming, Mr. Marcus Birdman. <laughs> how long that was going to go on for. Good. Hello, people. You all right? Yeah. Good. Yes, good. That's fine. Isn't he handsome? <laughs> I'll, I'll just do it that way. There we are. <laughs> That's great. It's got such a good view of my backside there. You look relatively excited. Good. Okay. Grant. <laughs> um, good. It's nice to see some, so many people very near death. Um, <laughs> Ironic, See, the students are laughing. Over. <laughs> that's what I meant. That's what I meant with their drug intake, etc., etc. I didn't mean you people. That's good. I am good. I am. You're, you're like winning it. them over, Marcus. You're winning them over. <laughs> it's funnier here. If you could move about a bit, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Hello. Yes, my show is indeed about dreaming, and uh, I, I have. Uh, I, had a, I had a line in it where, where, where I, I asked people uh, what they do for a living, and. Uh, and people sort of say whatever it is they want to be, and I, I say, you know, follow your dreams. It's, that's, that's idea. We, we're, we're taught this up when we were younger, follow your dreams. The trouble is, when you get a bit older, you realise that nobody means it at all. What they mean is, get a job. <laughs> get a, dreams are like children. If you follow them too long, people get very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the premise. I made you laugh there. Thanks for the Lord. I've, I've won you back. Now... <laughs> That's the premise of the show, right? Cause, and, and I talk about, I talk about what, again, Zoe, I, I am 40, and I, I talk about that and hitting the... Uh, so I, I've learnt no great wisdoms as well, that's the thing. I think, you, you know, I've just learnt to, 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 to push what's good about myself, all the bad stuff, the bigotry, the intolerance, the prejudice, swept under the carpet, you know. Not too far, I'll need you in my 60s. Do you know what? Um, uh, so it, it's a little bit about that, because I, I, I talk about my daughter, as I mentioned, and uh, do, do, you have, do you have children? Do you have, do you have children? Yes. How, how old are they, can I ask? You've got 41 children. <laughs> Rather a Catholic or a goer. What's going on there? You look like a goer. Doesn't she look like a goer? <laughs> Actually, I'm sorry, yeah. Topping. I'm sorry. You've got <laughs> Topping's off. That's brilliant. Good. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, my daughter, my daughter's called Clementine, and people go, oh, that's a lovely name. What do you call her for short? Clementine. <laughs> so neither of us are that busy. <laughs> and because uh, it's difficult, difficult being a modern, difficult being a modern father. I'm not saying it's not difficult being a mum. Of course, of course it is. But we, we dads, we've no role models. We're not masters of the house, uh, nor are we mums. This is painfully obvious for me. I work nights during the day, and I take my daughter to a playground during the day. Met with a sea of female faces glaring at me like I've Morris danced into a reggae club. <laughs> I.e., what are you doing here? Pretty much what you're doing now. <laughs> Difficult being a modern father. Dad, dads know this. I was, in the, I was in the bath. My daughter waltzes in, six years old, waltzes in, points between my legs, says, Daddy, what's that? Now, this is a bad situation for a man to be in because you know whatever it is you say. She's going to go straight back to her school, tell all her friends. They can tell all their teachers, all the female, tell all their parents. Everybody's going to know exactly what it was that Clementine's dad said. So, I thought about this very carefully. I said, that is massive. <laughs> Those mums don't ignore me now. So, there we are. <laughs> Marcus Bergman, come and have a oh, chat, yes. Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this out of the way, <laughs> right? Um, and I've got to tell you, Lorraine, some things happen, some of the funniest um, anecdotes happen when you're on the road with other comics and you're not expecting this to happen, but it happens when you're with a live audience and Topping and I were with Andre Vincent and Marcus, we all went out to Singapore, didn't we, yes. on the one contract, and we were all on the same bill. And Marcus wants to tell a joke about EasyJet, don't yes. you? And the thing is, it's Singapore, so he, he wasn't confident that they would know what EasyJet was. So t tell him what you did. Well, I, the I'll, I'll tell you the joke. Cause it, it, I, I say that EasyJet is you know, it's full of very rough... EasyJet's like a flying little, that's what I kind of... <laughs> uh, but, now, but obviously you, understand, you have to sort of think, uh, uh, you go to Singapore and you don't know whether, whether, whether that's, people understand, you say, a certain context and whether, what, you, what you should say. So, so I'm going around, I'm asking everybody, do, do, you, do, you have easy, do you understand what EasyJet is, the bargain bucket airline? And I'm asking sort of various door staff, 
and they yes yes we know EasyJet we've heard of EasyJet etc cetera, etc cetera. and uh, and I'm asking sort of uh, the guys running the gig yeah they'll they'll know what EasyJet is I'm thinking oh, all right I'm feeling confident about that so I I, I pearl up and I went yeah EasyJet it's like a flying Lidl of course nobody knows what, what Lidl, Lidl is, is. Do they? it's not bothered <laughs> not bothered to ask so. So, so, so unfortunately, all I can hear is silence and these three pillocks laughing at the back. Listen, Arthur, absolutely <laughs> pissing. Because we comedians aren't generous at the best of times. No, no, no. And we were like, because you had tumbleweed right the way through the set. You were going, you had the palm of a hand, didn't you? And yes, then halfway well. through, this joke comes in. Could it, the whole audience just went, well, like that. And, yeah. That so they funny. lined you up, really? Yeah, no, well, I, I don't know if they were. I, 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 did it myself, I think, probably, oh. yeah, yeah. We were talking about you oh, uh, getting to this age and you've got this lovely, isn't it beautiful, yeah. this, um, this, this grey... Grey, I this? said, did he do anything to it? Because I've got a dreary little bit of grey ear that doesn't sparkle like that. It's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> I think I've pulled. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind those my bits of grey if they were as sparkly as that. We've actually come dressed not, not too dissimilarly, I think, really. Yes. That's quite, um, we're all a bit neat, we haven't, aren't we? Actually, no, we're, all, we're all the same, that's great. All Always like coated up. I like women. Um, <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Does that come a great shock and a revelation? No, you've, you you've, you know? <laughs> you've blown my cover now, so. That's the only thing I'm going to blow. Now get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, sorry, that's terrible. That's terrible. I love the way you've just split the front row. If you could see them now, this side of girls with the red wine laughing their tits off. This side. Oh. Not so sure. Yes. Now, lads, behave yourself. We please. have to be careful, don't we? Because when we get going, we do get going, don't we? All that time, incidentally, in Singapore, after that joke, we went around the zoo, didn't we? Yeah, they even we went around the theme animals, park, it, yeah. and we and all the sitting, other comedians there watching polar bears, and something goes, somebody go little. And we go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we say, oh, Marcus, isn't that the little of polar bears? Oh, isn't that? The zoo? <laughs> So you've been even further afield than that because this year you've been to the Adelaide Festival. Yes, How was that? Ad Adelaide was fantastic. Yeah, yeah and it's yeah. A, it's a, a fun town because it's a very small town, isn't it? It's closed on Tuesday, apparently. It is. <laughs> I think it's closed outside of the festival for good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's it's uh, worth, worth worth visiting, but uh, it's uh, yeah. I mean, you go you go you do lots of places. Obviously, it was the nice thing about being a comedian, and uh, you play uh, Singapore and Adelaide and Dubai. As I, I did Dubai, which is uh, has anyone been to Dubai? It's, yeah. a, it's a weird, mm -hmm. got a kind of weird mix. Because you got, you got, the thing is, you got to, again, you got to sort of figure out what you're supposed to say. And it's illegal to say the C word on stage in Dubai, which is kind of weird because it's clearly not illegal to be one. <laughs> <laughs> that, they'll probably cut that. But, um, <laughs> We're really pushing the envelope, aren't we, today? <coughs> um, the, uh, the, the show that you've got yes. um, at the Stand yes. uh, Comedy Act. Uh, I saw it two, two nights ago because sometimes we get a chance to see yeah. some of the shows. And what I liked about it is that although... Yeah, you, oh, whose pacemaker was that? That's our, that's our sound guy who hasn't turned his phone off. Uh, um, right now, bizarre. Um, what I liked about it was when you deliver your comedy, you've actually jazzed it up in a certain way because you've got a guitarist who's underscoring everything you do. Yes, yeah. And you also do a bit of DJing on the side a as well. Bit. Yes. While yeah. you're doing it. Yeah. So how did that kind of concept come about that you put the stand up with those two different bits on those? It's to cover up the paucity of the material, really. <laughs> Just, uh, I can't stand there for that. I think to, 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 to well, I mean, you know yourselves, you can't stand up for an hour. You've got to have someone plinking yeah. away on the ivories yeah. just to bolster yeah. you up. Uh, yeah. the jokes, no, but really. I didn't it's feel nice. like nice. I bolstered it up. I felt like it made it all move kind it's of... It's getting more and more interesting by the minute. It's not it's usually men that multitask. <laughs> I was just saying, get him off. Right, no, it okay. no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. I just thought I'd say that. So get him off or get them off. We have, re we have reached our time, oh, however. Dear. So, uh, Marcus, thank you very much thank for coming on the show. Yeah. Now, the show is called Dreaming, and it's at the Stand 2 at 9.20. So, have a little think if you're free at 9.20 uh, this evening or the following evening. Uh, but for now, would you please put your hands together? It's very funny. Marcus Bowman. Right. Right. Tonight's gone